over here. Now you wanna, I'm gonna beat you up, or you, you wanna just guys what's going on uh, this video is gonna be a little separate a little different than what my normal is I made some of these videos a while back but it's uh, one of my one of my, my passions in life is philosophy and um, uh, just knowing uh, not knowing anything just uh, in in search of uh, peace inner peace so philosophy is always for as long as I can remember been a big part of my life I've always read, I've always researched, I've always, you know, looked and dug, and the Bible says, knock and it shall be opened unto you, look and you shall find. So I followed that, and I don't know if I found anything worth anything, but I tell you what, I found enough to give me inner peace about life, and uh, it's made my life a lot better. But what if I was to tell you something real, real quick here? Let me get serious with you. I know you've heard this before. It's a cliche. You can have anything in life you want if you just put your mind to it. Have you ever heard that before? Well, I'm going to come at you with a little understanding there. You can have anything in life that you can think of that you want. You can have it. You can sure have it. Look at that. Look at You see that? Y'all see that? Right there, I got the blessing with my speech here. Um, you can have anything in life you want. You've uh, you just got to put your mind to it, so to speak, and you've got to uh, you've got to dig down and do it. Um, oh, before well, the reason why I thought about this video is this clip right here. See, they say the poor mentality is slow to decide and quick to change their mind, but the rich mentality are fast to decision and slow to change their mind on changing it. So let's see if I can reword that how it's supposed to go. Uh, poor mentality is uh, slow to make a decision, but they're quick to change it up. Did I say that right? Slow to make it, quick to change it? All right, the rich mentality are quick to make the decision and very slow to change it up. A lot of people, I mean, I tell you, I'm stubborn, and I'm pig-headed, I'm stubborn as a pig. Uh, once I get in the groove of doing something, I'm gonna do it that certain way until you show me, prove to me that there's a better way because I'm slow to change. Uh, I'm quick to decide on what to do, but I'm slow to change. Um, but anyway, you got to make good decisions. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a little example. I, I got, I'm trying to get my chest back on swole. Uh, I've, I've, I've made myself an, uh, a goal by the end of the year to drop 50 pounds. And um, the way I'm going to do that is I broke it down to enough small goals to actually see something that I could, you know, uh, be uh, feasible to do. What I've came up with is 50 pounds in 10 months. I can come to like, I think 1.3 ounces a week. And I thought, all right, cool, I can do that. And then I got to reading some further studies. Excuse the bumps, guys. Sorry for the vibration. I'll try to stabilize it here in a minute. But uh, I said sodas, if you can cut, well, if you can cut 500 calories a day on a weekly basis, that's going to drop a pound or maybe two pounds a week. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now I'm cutting out my sodas, except one for a day. You know, I ain't, I like my one. Uh, say a 12 ounce can Coke, 140 calories. I was drinking six, seven, eight, ten, maybe a 12 pack. I don't even know. I'm just saying it's a lot. I cut them out. There's my 500 calorie a day uh, cut uh, drinking a lot of water and nothing's changed since the video about the fat vegetarian um, if you ain't seen the fat vegetarian go check it out uh, nothing's changed since then you know I've seen enough and felt enough and lived enough since that video to be forever changed I'm still holding true um, on 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 the course here the journey here but uh, anyway back to back to topic here uh, 500 calories a day over the course of a week is going to drop, you know, a pound or two a week. In order to reach my goal at the end of 10 months, I just need to lose a pound and three ounces a week, I think. Might be something else there. But uh, I'm going to do that. I made, I made the decision. And here's the thing about decisions. Anything you want to do, it's one decision at a time made daily. 
Ooh, excuse me. One decision at a time, make daily, multiple times. So, every time I think about grabbing a soda, I'm thinking, do I really need that? No, no. One decision, done. I don't need it. If I have to make that decision five, ten times a day, I'm gonna choose the decision of not having it because I set a goal. You know, if you if you go back to the word decision, the Latin root for it, for it is to to cut off from, to stop doing what you was doing, just sever it, to cut off from. So if you make a decision to do something and then you go back to it, then you never decided to do it. So I hold true to a decision, making decisions. So rambling, man. I tell you what, I'm gonna keep, <laughs> keep on going in all kinds of directions. But uh, yeah, you hold true to that decision. So 1.3 ounces over the course of a week, over the course of 10 months, I hit my goal. But also, I'm eating healthier. I'm, I'm, I'm staying away from the garbage food out here. And I'm, out, I'm at home, I'm gonna have a steak, I'm gonna have a hamburger, whatever, I'm not going full vegetarian. But while I'm on the road, I'm gonna be full vegetarian unless I'm at a restaurant that serves decent food. But some of that, you know, grab and go meat, no, nah, hell no. Nope, 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 nope. No. And uh, I've been eating a lot of, uh, of salads and uh, veggie wraps at Subway and stuff. But anyway, we're gonna hit that goal. You know why I'm gonna hit that goal? Because one decision, made daily multiple times I will get it you make good decisions you will hit it because your decisions equal your the outcome of whatever you're looking at whether good or bad you make bad decisions you're going to reap bad rewards you make good decisions you're going to reap good rewards it's really that simple I mean life is really easy when you understand it from a different perspective you know life don't happen to you it happens for you based on decisions you made prior so pause that back it up listen to that again life don't happen to you it happens for you based on decisions you've made prior so everything you've done yesterday and the day before is bearing its head today and tomorrow and, and, and in the future so with that being said good decisions equal good results bad decisions equal bad results now here's the deal now everybody knows this to be true just as much as the sun's going to raise in the east set in the west if and I tell you, i'm gonna take you on a little side trip here now if you whoever you are watching this if you decide to do 20 push-ups a day i don't care what time of the day just 20 good solid push-ups no more no less 20 a day for the next six months i'm pretty sure you can agree that your chest, you're gonna start seeing it in your chest, in your shoulder, in your arms. You're gonna start seeing the results of doing 20 push-ups a day over the course of six months. Ain't not one person gonna do 20 push-ups a day over the course of six months and look down and think, I can't tell the difference. It ain't gonna happen. You know it to be true just as well as I know it to be true. Now here, let, here, let me give you another a solid truth, just as sure as the sun's gonna raise in the east and set in the west. If you make good choices mentally, you're going to see the results as well. Trust me on this. I mean, boy, prime your bird. Get your butt over. I rub here. I ain't scared. I ain't scared at all, Mr. Prime. Sorry, guys. I kind of knocked my piece out. But anyway, yeah, it's just a solid truth as that is physically. It's also as true mentally. You make good choices, you make good decisions, the actions will give you an equal result. You know, you got an action, you got a reaction. You got a soul, you got a re. You got karma. There's a lot of ways you can name it and put a, a name on it. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you can really have anything you want in life, but you're gonna have to make the sacrifice and the sacrifice is doing the work. Even in the Bible, it says faith without work is dead. You can want to be a successful truck driver all day, every day. But if you don't do the work and maintain your ability to drive a truck and take pride in what you do and have it do it with passion. Don't just drive a truck. Do it with passion. And what I mean by that is have passion about what you do. Do it to the best of your ability. I don't care what you're doing while you're driving that truck. Don't do it half ass You go all the way to the top. You go all the way. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. If you half-ass on anything, life will kick you, 
you reach right up, bite you in the butt every time. It's, it's, it's just no doubt. Now, if you want to be a successful truck driver and move on to an owner operator, the only way you're going to do that is, again, you're going to have to go all out. Don't go halfway. Don't half-ass it. If you're going to do it, do it to the best of your ability. And if you don't have the ability and knowledge and know-how, that's what YouTube's for. That's what Google's for. That's what surrounding yourself with other owner operators that's doing what you want that has what you want you take their advice you listen to them don't think oh i'm gonna reinvent the wheel and i'm gonna figure this out and do it another way because i think what i can do it better no sense of reinventing the wheel when you can just do what other people has already done because while you're busy back trying to reinvent the wheel you might spend three five ten years trying to you know carve your craft until you actually get it or you can take the advice of other people that's been doing it for four or five, ten years and take their advice because they know something. They've been there. They know what works and don't and what don't work. Listen to them. Take their advice. Don't half ass it. Go all out. If you're going to do it, do it to the best of your ability and gain the insight, gain the knowledge and do it. Now, if you want to go from owner operator from a lease guy to a, being a carrier, same applies. You go all in. Don't just stick your foot in there and just dabble with it a little bit. No, go all in. Go all in and go hardcore. Because if you come at, let's think about it like this. If you get in a fight, you get in a fight with somebody, somebody slaps your lady on the butt. If you go into that fight like this, man, I'm gonna beat you up, man. You're gonna get your ass whipped, but you go in that, oh, game over. Cause you went all in. Now you wanna, man, I'm gonna beat you up. Or you, you wanna just take them out. Oh, it gets me fired up, because I tell you what, I got passion what I do. I don't half-ass what I do. Oh, wrong one. I don't half-ass it, you know what I'm saying? I can't stand to see somebody half-ass shit. Pardon my language. But if you're going to do it, do it to the best of your ability. Do it to the point, like, if, I don't care if you're mopping floors at damn McDonald's. I don't care where it's at. I want you to mop that floor so damn well that if the store manager or the district manager wants to walk through, they're gonna look at that floor and they're gonna say, yep, I know who's been mopping this floor. That's Michael's work right there. That's Steven's work right there. That's Janice's work right there. Do it to the best of your ability and do it with pride, do it with passion. And I got passion with there that, that's spoken a lot there because it's like this. If you don't do it with passion and you don't do it with pride, and if you don't excel in life with passion and pride how's anybody going to have any passion and pride in you i'm just saying do it with passion do it with pride do it to the best ability and if you don't think it's good enough practice and if you still don't think it's good enough get better just every day make it your own little goal to be better than you was yesterday so i will repeat you can't have anything in life that you want but you're going to have to make the decisions from this point forward and reaching it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to climb Mount Everest, you want me to tell you how to do that? It's real simple. One step at a time. One step at a time, baby. So you buy.